This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey everybody, Emilio Takas here. Today we're gonna see one very important tip that will save the storage in your hard drive whenever you work with Final Cut Pro 10 and you have probably already seen enormous sizes in gigabytes on the project. Let's go and check it out. So let's go and see this uh, very easy tip that it's going to be a lifesaver for those of you who are wondering why Final Cut Pro 10 projects are getting so much from your hard drive. So as you can see here, here is the library of our project, let's say for example the Glitch Effect Transition project and if we go into the finder and find this library, we're going to right click and see that we have 21.01 gigs. How are we going to make them? A little bit shorter. After we have finished with the editing of the video and we have published the video or we have given the video to the client, if we go here, we will see with the library selected that we have the option to delete the generated library files. And what that means is that if you see here where I'm showing you right now, we have this wheel that it's rolling when the files are rendering. So, if we delete the generated library files, we will select to delete the render files, all the render files, not only the unused, and if we have created optimized media or proxy media, we will delete them as well. Now, we didn't have any optimized media, so I'm going to select only the render files and all of them. Now, remember that this is a lifesaver only when the project is completed and uh, when we want to have a backup of the project, we can keep it and when we open it again, the whole process of the rendering is gonna start over and re-render the file. So we go, we have selected our options, we'll click OK. And if we go now into the finder and get info, we will see now that our project is 76.3 megabytes. That means that we saved 20 gigs from our hard drive. Let's talk a little bit about Squarespace now. If you don't know who Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one platform where you can get your domain or build your own website without having any knowledge at all at web design and web developing. With Squarespace, you can choose between plenty of high-end designers' templates that you can use them as your structure and start building your own website. Head over to squarespace.com slash Emilio. You can try it at first and then when you're ready to buy, you can use the coupon code Emilio and get 10% of your purchase of a website or domain. And I don't have to remind you that having a website is a must, especially if you're a YouTuber or photographer, videographer, creative artist in general. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button, do all this amazing YouTube stuff. Also, if you have any questions, I'm waiting for them in the comment section down below and I will reply to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Emilio Takas and I will see you in the next video.